We're not showing you what color it is, but let's just say it's one of these colors. So record now. Yep, there you go. What's going on JR Garage? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the JR Hangar and today we got a great video in store for you guys. As you can see from the title, the Rolls Royce made it to Arizona. Thank you Ply Car for the safe shipment. Literally the day it got here, I took it over to the wrap shop. Yes, I teased on Instagram that we would be wrapping the car with a special Anosatec color and you guys are super hyped for this. Yes, the original paint is very nice, but we almost want to like protect that paint and keep it pristine. So a wrap is going to protect the paint. We get to do something fun, you know, modify it a little bit, make it to our liking even more. But my brother Christian hasn't seen the car yet and he was the one who really pushed for buying this car. So he's gonna see the car today for the first time at the wrap shop. It's a like later today, it's going to begin getting wrapped. So I have to show you guys before that happens. And then we're actually taking the Lamborghini today because later today, there's some sort of a surprise like birthday event for this kid who really loves Lamborghinis. I'm down, I got a Lamborghini, like let's do it. So that may come later in the vlog. We'll see, it's gonna be a busy day. Christian's already outside. Got all the cars. Cars here, boy, so much room, so much room for all the cars in the hangar. Okay, it's a bright sunny day. All right, here we go. Look at this beauty. Man, I am absolutely loving this car. The final edition, you never see these. Oh gosh, I was telling them, the Rolls Royce just arrived off the truck and we're already modifying it. So excited, I still haven't seen the car. This paint is gonna look awesome in person, but I really can't wait to see the wrap color in person. Yes, maybe we'll give you guys a little like tease, a little sneak peek, but the full reveal, of course, it's gonna take, you know, a few days to wrap it. It's a big car, so Fastlane will have their work cut out for them. This is a lot of square footage to cover. You know, like a McLaren, it's very simple wrap. Oh, look at that. Fastlane actually wrapped that NSX. What are the odds? We're just talking about them and they just finished that wrap. So they have been busy, but they were able to work us into the schedule. And while we're on the way to Fastlane, I'm gonna go ahead and roll the clips from when I got pulled over in the Rolls Royce just one hour after buying it. Literally like five minutes after we ended the reveal video, uh, Sasha and I were driving down the highway and all of a sudden, boom, blue lights behind me. And I'm like, oh no. So I'm just gonna go ahead and roll the clips. It's after there we go. And record now, yep, there you go. Totally legal though. Hello. Hello. You got license on you? Uh, yeah, so we, we take the trip permit in the back. We actually just bought the car like two hours ago. I have like the title and everything Where's with it uh, from Ashland. You got your license on your own? Yeah. Just left. I figured that's why you're pulling me over. I, I knew it was coming. But yeah, you can see I've never been pulled over before. No tickets. One minute, 37 seconds later. You just bought it yourself? Yeah. Like <laughs> you do for a living. We have, we have a YouTube channel. Actually, my brother and I have been into entrepreneurship since like we were eight or nine years old starting our own businesses. And then we just happened to buy cool cars and share them with our YouTube audience of like over a million subscribers. So it's fun getting younger kids inspired to like start their own business. And Interesting. All right, well, drive safe. Thank you so much. I knew that was gonna happen. All right, and just like that, here we are. What do you guys think about those clips? I thought it was uh, just my luck. Like, I've never been pulled over before. That was the first time. And I don't blame him because through the tent, you can't see the trip permit in the rear window. So, you know, he thought we were just driving around with no tags. First time, what about the F430? I pulled myself over in that case. I don't consider that getting pulled over. The, the lights were not behind me. This is the first time I ever saw blue lights behind oh, me. So gosh. yeah, he just verified what I was saying was legit and I just bought the car and then we we're good to go. And I thought it was funny how he's like, whose car is this? How, how do you afford a car like this? You know, he's so confused at my age, but anyway, here we are. Fast lane, all right, you guys remember, they wrapped the McLaren, they did an incredible job on it. And they tinted these windows, so fitting we brought the Lambo. So that looks great now. So they know what's up, and they're here in Arizona. If any of you guys are local, hit them up. Let's head inside and check out the Rolls Royce. Okay, Christian. Man, big car, you're right. Good looking paint. Clean car. Dude. 10 years old. This is the car. Uh-huh, so you get what you pay for. That's the big thing I said in the video, is just, man, I see why it's 300K. This paint with the light, you get to finally see it sparkle a little bit. So this will all soon be wrapped up. But like I explained in the intro, we're, we're protecting the paint. Yeah. And, and it just, we want to spice it up a little bit. Like, yeah, this is cool, but it, it, it does kind of look like a grandpa mobile at times. Oh yeah. You'll see how much room and everything you got. This door feels like a safe door. Yeah, you're, you're stepping onto oh, this thing weighs 6,000 pounds. Oh boy. 
Wow, it smells like leather. It feels like leather everywhere. Headliner to oh my god. Takes gosh. 21 cows to make one of these interiors. Oh my god, goodness. Just, feels so like good. first class, what I think would first class would feel like. I've never flown first class, but I guess we have flown on a few private jets on JR Aviation. It feels like a private jet. This yes. That is probably the I didn't put, thing. That's a great point. The leather this, feels identical. This, yeah, the, all the mahogany woods, or whatever the this smell is. even smells like a jet. Go hop on out. You just arrived to the country club. Give me a chives here. I'm your driver. Let me close that. Soft closed doors. Boom. Pretty cool. What do you think of the wheels? Some people said they didn't like them on the video, but I think they're very Rolls uh, Royce. They, yeah, these are the upgraded 20 inch chrome wheels. This was like a $5,000 option. I think they look great. And we got Caleb here, Mr. Fastlane himself. Yes. Do you wanna explain some of the troubling parts that comes about wrapping a Rolls Royce? Like, it's not easy. We were telling them, you're gonna have your work cut out for you. Kind of one of the first things I, I see it when going over this vehicle, mm -hmm. getting it prepped for wrap is, obviously we're gonna have to pull door handles off. And to do it right, you know, pull the mirrors off mm -hmm. so we're not trying to work around it or run any weird scene, right? Do anything like that. Um, and then we haven't told him yet, but we're thinking of doing the two tone Rolls Royce look with like a brushed, brushed aluminum, brushed aluminum look. I feel like that would look really cool. And uh, you were able to order some of that as well. You just ordered it, right? Yep. So we're going with the two tone look. So the hood on this is like 63, 64 inches wide. And mm. the material is only 60 inches wide. Basically one of the tricks is running a seam down the center of the hood. Mm -hmm. And uh, which luckily we have this nice trim piece here that's gonna hide most of it. Okay. And then with the brushed aluminum, you know, it'll be virtually invisible anyway once I get it butted up. The two yeah. pieces right next to each other. Perfect, that's gonna look so and good. It's not the only big panel on the car, but just these fenders, you'll be able to do that in one Yeah, so everything will be one piece. Oh, wow. The only Except. funky thing about the uh, Rolls Royce vehicles is they basically weld the roof panel to the quarter panel mm. and they metal blend it. So there's no body filler, it's all metal. Most vehicles have the drip rail that separates the panels. So that's something uh, that we have to uh, take into consideration as well. Yeah, if you guys can see that on the video, there's no like hard seam where on some cars it'd be perfect for wrapping. So this makes it a little tricky. Uh, coming around back. Around the tail light here, you know, with a lot of material, you just have to make sure you stretch properly because it's all continuous around the tail light as well. Mm -hmm. So a little so bit of one big piece and you cut out yeah. the tail light. Oh yeah, holy cow. This is the same piece as all the way up there. Yeah, yeah. Do we do the two-tone phantom look going all the way to the back or stop up at the front window frame like Christian was saying? I think I think we go with what the ghost looked like from the factory, meaning the front hood up around the uh, windshield. We're not showing you what color it is, but let's just say it's one of these colors, okay? Okay, guys? Or check out the Anoza Tech's Instagram page. While you're there, give it a follow. They have some of the craziest wrapped cars. They look so yeah. good. Anoza Tech is killing the game. It looks like paint. Like Kieran's car, uh, that's that's a wrap. That's a Nose Tech wrap. It looks like paint. That was so shocking. You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll grab someone random who guesses the correct color and give them a free JR Garage t-shirt. So comment down below what color do you think we went with. Thank you, Caleb. We're very looking forward to this. This is, this is gonna be a good one. Wrap number two, here we go. All righty, guys. So, like I mentioned now, we are off to the surprise Lamborghini cruise. It's for this kid who absolutely loves Lamborghinis. So he hit me up, he's like, yo, can you bring a car? I'm like, sure. I would bring the twin turbo Lambo, but it's getting some more uh, carbon fiber goodies put on. So it's in a few pieces right now. So I said, oh, I'll just take the uh, take the LP Gallardo. And he's like, sure, you know, come through. So they have like a twin turbo Huracan, and I think a stock Huracan. So We made it boys. So we have the extremely loud LP640, a twin turbo Performante, and then a normal stock Performante. They told me it's a six year old boy who loves Lamborghinis. So I remember being six years old loving Lamborghinis too. So the fact that we get to share this with him is going to be awesome. Alright, here we go. So that car has 1400 horsepower. That's their 
slow car. All right, Corsa, not that I have a chance with any of these guys. The LP640, maybe I can barely keep up with him. Oh, the smell of the MS109 race gas coming from the Huracan. Something about a Murcielago in the rear view mirror with the bat wings up. So sinister back there. Look at that, we got another Lambo joining the party. <laughs> oh snap, Urus. Oh my gosh. All right, there we go, look, there he is. Oh, he must be so hyped right now. <laughs> Did you hear that, they're like four? They were not expecting four Lambos. All right, now we're gonna let him sit in all the cars and check him out up close and see what he thinks. Happy birthday. That's awesome. TV <laughs> thing too. Mm. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You gotta do some There we go. Oh He's hooked. Don't drive that day. made for you, man. What in the world, man? Look at that. Wow, this is a lot of Lambos for your birthday. You want to go with another one? Okay, hey. let's go. Okay, you can sit in this one too. This one? We gotta sit in them all, you know? What? <laughs> Got a little ways to reach the pedals, but. There you go. You ready to drive that bad boy? I'm not driving. Slow? Oh, it is? Oh. Vader's a fast one. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Teach him how to use Corsa mode. <laughs> Oh, there we go. That was a real rev. Such a natural. What a perfect rev. Yeah, he let go of it right at the top. That's how you do it. All right, you're in. <laughs> okay. Of course, he picked the twin turbo Lamborghini. Of course, Vader, right? Here we go. Oh, my goodness. All right, there he goes. So Koi is driving much later. Okay, he's back. How was it? Yeah, tell us. How was it? It was good. Best, best day ever. Best car ride. Yep. Yep. Was that the bomb? Thank you. Yes. Glad you enjoyed. All right. See you. Goodbye. LP 640, but that ain't bad. All right, there you guys have it. Lambo is back safe and sound in the hangar. Boy, that was such a fun day. And to end it off there, surprising him for his sixth birthday. Today is his birthday, and he's always dreamed of like seeing Lamborghinis. And now he get he got to see four Lamborghinis, sit in all four of them, and, and then go for a ride in a twin turbo Huracan. I'm jealous, I'm jealous. The first time I rode in a twin turbo Lambo is when I bought one. And here, he's six years old riding in one. Boy, uh, hats off to that kid. He's, he's definitely a car lover, he's a Lambo lover, I can see him getting a Lambo one day for sure. It is definitely gonna happen. So uh, thanks Koi for the invite and putting putting that together. It was great seeing their two cars. All right, what do you guys think of the Rolls Royce wrap? That's going down soon. He's already begun on it. He just texted me a picture of one of the panels all wrapped. It looks so good. I love the vibes of like the landing lights in the airport like right behind me. Like it was like, nah. Dreams come true to have a hangar now. This is so cool. More on the plane, like follow the aviation channel, JR Aviation. We're putting uh, a new engines going inside of the plane. So like a little LS swap, though, that's cool. Okay, anyway, I'll stop talking. You guys rock. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new, like the video if you enjoyed it, and we will see you in the next one.